Hello and welcome to this week's Discovery Storytime. Today's topic, if you can't tell, I am bathing in it. We're going to be talking about light, sunlight specifically. It gives us energy, heat, colors, and a lot of other really useful things. All the plants around. And sunlight beams down from the sun. We see it as a bright white light because that's what happens when you have all colors of light combined. You get a white light. You get a band of light that's uh, difficult to see all the colors within. But then when it begins to separate, you can start to see those colors. If we use something like water or a prism or reflective surfaces, that light starts to bend into the different colors that compose it. So we're going to look at some of the ways that we get color from sunlight and how our eyes interpret that. Let's start with a great book about light. This is my Cavern Lights project. We've built this using foil, a nice big box, a couple of water bottles that we filled with water and food coloring so that when the light passes through, it'll, it'll absorb that color of the pigment and we can see it inside our little mock cavern. You, I have uh, multiple holes here to put the bottles in. You can do one, you can do three. It's fun to have different colors of uh, bottled water to swap in and out for different colored lights. You can see how they mix to affect the inside. Let's take a look. Inside here you can see that glow and those bottles that are absorbing that sunlight and uh, passing it through to the inside a little bit uh, bent from the water in the jars. I always think it's a really neat effect to see how water affects sunlight. And this is a cool way to add some neat lights to a box fort or a tent project. This works indoors as well. You can put flashlights on top of the bottles to do something cool. But I think it's really neat to see the sunlight in there. I'll include instructions on how to do this project yourself. And I hope you can come up with something really cool and fun to look at with a little bit of science as well. This demonstration is a little play with light and shadows and colors that you can turn into your experiment. I'm using my Cavern Lights box here. I'm also going to use a flashlight. We've got our model. Thank you, Tyrannosaur. And what we've made are some colored slides. I've made this using marker and uh, clear tape so that the light can keep shining through, but at the same time pick up the pigment of the marker as we shine it through. For example, if I turn on my flashlight and shine it through, you should be able to see the blue light shining on that dinosaur. I've also got a red. You can see how that casts a red hue onto our Tyrannosaurus friend there. And if you make these at home, you can start combining them to see how the different colors uh, start to change. Between blue and red, it'll give us a little bit of a purple. You can try green. And what happens when I stack them all together? Very little light goes through. So we're losing a little bit of light to those solid slides each time. But you can see even the light behind that is glowing a little bit as it comes through, um, picks up that pigment and projects it where we want it to go. Now, if I were to combine all those colors, if you were to mix paints, you would get a black paint because all of those pigments are reflecting um, none of the light. So if you have a red, red pigmented paint, it's reflecting all it's absorbing all of the colors except for red. That's why we see red. However, if you get the lights themselves of a certain color, all the lights combined make white light. That's what we saw when at the sunlight. Again, don't ever look at the sun doing any of these projects. But you can see I've got my red light here. Green. Can you see how the shadow of our dinosaur there has the edges of each color on them? That's because these two colors are emitting from a different point. Now, when you mix paints, what do you usually get when you mix blue and red? Purple, right? If I mix these, that's not quite purple, is it? Looks a little bit different. 
it's magenta. And if I were to mix all of these colors of light, again, I would get white. The reason I get white instead of black is because all of the colors combine to make white. White's the combination of all the colors we see and a lot of those that we don't. Pretty neat to look at the LEDs in our shadow box there. Again, for our at-home project, you can make these slides out of just regular old clear tape, piece of cardboard with a hole cut out, and you can use it to shine a flashlight through to add hues and look at the different ways that uh, to color that light at home. It's kind of a fun shadow box experiment. If you make some really good slides, you can start combining those colors and see how those colors combine. Thank you, Tyrannosaur. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and it gives you something to do in your day. Hello. What I've made for you here is a simple prism that you can try anywhere, almost anytime, as long as you've got some light. Sunlight works well because that has the most colors in it. What I've made is I've got a glass of water. Uh, water is going to bend the light just slightly that allows us to see those separation of colors. This is how you get rainbows outside, as light shines through droplets of water. And I've got a piece of cardboard to create shade and um, let us concentrate those beams of light just a little bit better. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can put it up near the hole and try to capture that beam of light. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that start to separate the colors there. Or you can just use the shadow. Can you see those colors on there? You can see a lot of light bouncing around, but you can also see that kind of rainbow spread of color as the water bends the light. Just a very simple prism using water to make a rainbow similar to what you'll see uh, out in nature. So go ahead and try that at home. It's a little bit of shade, cardboard, and a glass of water to make a simple prism and bend light. Thank you for joining me for today's Discovery Storytime brought to you by Hillsboro at Home. Looking forward to seeing you for more of these, for more learning, more lesson. But for now, it's lights out, and we will see you next time.